tripod. Well, I didn't want to come back to the GS550 until I had some good news for you. Welcome back, and here's what's been happening. Well, folks, I've got a replacement headlight. It's off the scrapped bike in my garden. It doesn't look as good as the twin lamps, but at least it should part fix the electrical problems. That's a blown bulb. It's black inside. <laughs> and it's black and blown as well. Okay folks, I've managed to get hold of some spare bulbs. Yet again from the scrap bike in my garden. Well, folks, the rest of the wiring room is looking good, a lot better than expected, and I can't see any other faults. That little rubber in there is perished, it's broken. Well folks, that white wire looks partly broken. Yeah. There's a little switch in there. Yeah. Feels like it's broken. Oh, and <laughs> I've got a broken bolt. Needs to come out somehow. Oh dear, now I'm going to have to drill that out. That's not bad. I'm going to put a new spring in this switch. Well, I'm not having much luck, folks. That's just broken and the end's just broken. I think it's done.
she's dead. How you been? Way. That's only gonna look so much tidier. And these are the wires that are cut off the wiring loom. So that's everything done now, apart from the front brake light switch. Way. And I've left the brake light switch connectors there. Awesome. The lights and the clocks are working too. Okay folks, it's time to start the bike again. And let's hope changing the headlight has fixed things. Things are getting strange again. I've now got a hot coil on the left and a cold one on the right, so that's the opposite from last time. Problem hasn't gone. Well folks, I was up late last night studying the bike's wiring diagram and I think I have figured out what I hope is the last electrical problem. The fuel gauge has been bothering me because it's still not working. Now this is the way the bike's wiring to the tank was to begin with. I just tidied it up but I'm sure it's wrong. One of these wires should be a frame earth and go to ground. There's one earth there but there should be two here on these black and white wires. So that's a major fault and has to be fixed. That's factory tape and that's never been touched in there so one of them is definitely meant to be an earth. Yep. Exactly what I thought. <laughs> I think I will ground it in there and that's on the frame. Okay folks, time for another engine start. Fingers crossed. Well, here we go again. <laughs> Not a boiling hot one, so that's a real good sign. <laughs> so 
So to be continued folks, I hope you've enjoyed and until the next one, thanks for watching.